All right, guys, we're just gonna go for a drive in the Ionic just to see how it goes. And first glance is there's no, um, there's no noise. There's no motor noise that uh, most people, that myself and most people would be used to. So if you've never driven a electric vehicle before, it's uh, quite different. When you accelerate, there's no oomph from the motor. It, um, it feels strange, sort of, that you've actually got anything, you know, that there is. Yeah, it's, but it's a, like a conventional car. It's got a steering wheel, it's got a brake pedal, it's got an accelerator pedal. It's got five seats in it. It feels like a normal car from the inside. It's only when you're, you accelerate along that you think there's no noise. What actually makes it go? There's nothing, yeah. So it's quite an interesting um, drive with the, one of these uh, electronic vehicles. And yeah, it's uh, interesting. And when you, this has got regenerative braking. So when you take your foot off the accelerator pedal, it um, it puts power back into, or charges, I should say, charges the battery back up again, um, which is a really interesting sort of thing, which is, um, yeah, really, um, a really good thing gives you that extra little bit of kilometers I suppose this does 200 and about 230 kilometers to a full charge which is not too bad I must say though when you have the air conditioning running it does deplete that a little bit uh, so yeah it's um but it look it drives very very well it's very comfortable in here for me uh, I don't feel cramped in here at all it's just a very nice and at the moment we're driving, I've got it on eco mode. If I put it on sport mode, I can feel it straight away that it wants to pick up, uh, that it's got a bit more oomph to it. So what I'm gonna do is when I get around this corner, wow, and that's flat to the floor and there was no noise. There was no other than the road noise. Uh, that is just very quick for an electric vehicle because you've got the torque, instant torque there. You don't have to wait for the torque to build up like on petrol cars or diesel cars, I should say, as well. Uh, yeah, and it's um, it's just very, uh, yeah, just instant power. There's no, um, no hesitation, which I really, really like about it, which is really good. And we'll just go back to eco mode. Uh, so yeah, it's um, very much a, um, a very interesting car to drive and uh, with the regenerative braking you don't have to brake as, I suppose, as, uh, a lot, as early as you do with a, a conventional car because when it's putting uh, charge back into the battery it actually helps to brake the actual vehicle or slow the vehicle down, I should say. Uh, so yeah, it is a little bit, to me, I drive a truck for a living and to me, it's a bit like having an exhaust brake on a truck. I suppose that's probably the easiest way to say it, which is really, really good. So yeah, it's sort of an interesting drive and just the the no, the no noise, it's just, it really is just a um, very interesting, uh, car when you first start it up you're thinking is it actually running uh, and it is but uh, it's yeah and little things like this the flat bottom steering wheel they've made here which is like a sports steering wheel a lot of the high-end sports cars have things like that so um, yeah which is really really good so yeah look Overall, guys, I think this is a, a great car. I mean, it's about $45,000 or so. So, but I think for a, a vehicle that you never have to visit a petrol station ever again, uh, yes, this particular model, I will say, you know, only gets a few hundred kilometers, 230 Ks or so out of a tank. But in saying that, round town, if you're just going round town or you're not going far to work and back, this would be a great car because it's good for the environment because it's all electric and also it's you know yeah you never have to fill up uh, go to a service station ever again or, or smell that you know that petrol smell or whatever so uh, it's it's quite uh, 
quite a nice car. So yeah, guys. But uh, yeah, all in all, it's um, it's very good. I'll give it thumbs up for that. I'll probably, I'd say, I'd give it out of uh, out of ten. I'd probably give it a an eight and a half out of ten, uh, which is a really good score. So uh, yeah, guys. Um, anyway, but thank you for that, and I will uh, see you on the next one.